AVC Jeff here again. I figured since I had set up uh, to do that other video, the contest one, I was going to go ahead and do a part two on the comic books one that I did yesterday. I could see that it didn't get as much um, views as typical for the music ones. So I know there's a limited crowd for this. I don't have a lot of other artists to show. And I figured I would just go ahead and knock this out. It, it, it'll be fairly quick and hopefully it won't upset anybody too much. So we're talking, for the most part, at first, Alice Cooper. Now, back in the days, Marvel also put out, and I'd have to go back and look at the actual year. This, was, this would have been back when I was collecting comics as a kid, uh, I'm assuming in the early 80s. There was an Alice Cooper co comic book that came out. So this is one of the originals. I bought this when, I, when it came out as a child. Special 50th, yeah, okay, Marvel. Anyway, then we know when he came out with The Last Temptation, it contained a comic book in it. And uh, there actually are, this was actually, yeah, book one. There are actually multiple parts. That's book one. Also, book two. Book three. And then they later combined them all into a hardback. And now see, this is Dynamite Publishing, and they, they're the ones that also have done a lot of other KISS ones that I had mentioned yesterday that I did not uh, grab. But anyway, so this is the entire Last Temptation series, plus a lot of other notes and stuff about concepts and, and scripts and things along that line. Just a bunch of add-on stuff that goes in here. So I picked this up not too many years ago just because I thought, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and get the uh, graphic novel version. And then in like late 2016 and early 2017, um, Dynamite Comics put out a Alice Cooper versus Chaos series. And it was only a handful of months, like I say, from late 2015 to early 2016. So, I mean, obviously Alice Cooper, like Kiss, is one of those larger than life characters, stage personas that, you know, is easy to transfer over into a uh, I don't want to say superhero per se, but you know, something a little more extra that can be comic book related. And so, pretty cool stuff. You know, just an interesting concept. Now, uh, what was it? Two years ago, I guess, when we saw Iron Maiden, they sold a graphic comic. And what this is, so if you're, if you're familiar with the Iron Maiden game, Legacy of the Beast... There's a video game out there on your phone, app, or whatever. I played it for a little while. Um, but anyway, this comic graphic novel is based kind of on that. It's kind of the same idea, some of the same characters from the video game. So, Legacy of the Beast, the graphic novel, sold at Iron Maiden Concerts is where I got it. And then there's a Skillet graphic novel. I showed this one, I don't know, two years ago. There is a second skillet version that I uh, I have a digital copy of but I don't have the physical yet now this is released by who is the name of the company Z2 comics and I believe it's the same company that you've probably been seeing on your Instagram feed there's a Dio comic there's an anthrax co uh, okay there is a Dio graphic novel there is an anthrax graphic novel with bundles and albums and all that I believe, I'm not mistaken, I believe it's the same company. They're obviously going into a lot of different bands and things along that line. I may want to pick those up, but some of the bundle packages with the comics and the records, you know, like a hundred bucks, and, and I'm not sure if I'm ready to dump that into it yet. But anyway, that's all that I've got that I think that is regarded regarding other rock music or music in general. Anyway, I just wanted to show those. I hope some people got it kick out of that kind of fun stuff i do pick up things when i can that are rock and roll based and uh, that's what i got anyway that's all for now thanks for watching rock on rock hard